Hey everybody, welcome back to creating scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, today I'm not creating scenery, but I'm going to tell you about something uh, related to scenery. Um, most of you know that I've uploaded my Deep Space Network uh, for Goldstone, California, for Canberra, Australia, and for Madrid, Spain. Okay? Created the scenery like I always do, put my exclusion boxes and all the stuff and put my models in there. And I uploaded it to flightsim.to. Um, I tested it with my sim and I was, it was, you know, everything was great. Um, then I uploaded those packages to uh, flightsim.to. And I got a couple notifications from uh, some users saying, hey, we got double radio telescopes in our scenery, one for Goldstone and one for Australia. I didn't hear anything back from anybody with Madrid. And one user uh, said that they use We Love VFR which is a great add-on, by the way, uh, even though I've never used it. Um, and so what I did was I went in to Flight Simulator and looked at my scenery and everything was fine. But then I installed We Love VFR add-on, and all of a sudden I was getting double telescopes. My models and then a different uh, packages models of the telescopes even though that they were they weren't they weren't detailed like mine okay they were kind of generic and so that got me uh, wondering what what's going on so I investigated and I went in to all of my packages and I redid my exclusion rectangles um, and played around with those but every single time I went into the simulator the doubles were always there okay so what I found was that it is not really it's not a conflict between my packages and we love VFR but apparently, and I don't know how it's done, okay, when I installed the last world update for the USA, okay, I also, from the marketplace, uh, installed the USA points of interest, okay? And that package included those generic models of radio telescopes. However, here's the strange thing. They never showed up until I installed We Love VFR. So, uh, Puffin, if you know, if you know why why they didn't show up until I installed your package, <laughs> let me know. But it's not your fault. That's not what I'm saying. But. It was odd that they showed up when I installed We Love VFR. Okay, now here's the deal. The conflict is not between my scenery and We Love VFR. My conflict was between my scenery and the USA points of interest. Okay, so everything in the simulator is based on draw order okay there is a file on your installation that controls the order in which things draw and that file is a file called content.xml and it's in your either your local or your roaming Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. Okay. Now, I have two copies because I cleaned it up. And I'll should tell you how to clean it up here in a second. But this content copy is the original 
content.xml that I had in my Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. So I'm going to open up Notepad++ because I got them in there. And this is the contents of the original content.xml. Okay, I thought I was having, um, let me explain this first. This file is used by the simulator to load scenery. And priority gets, uh, scenery gets prioritized from top to bottom, meaning that anything on the top has less priority than anything down at the bottom of the file. So in my particular case, this Canberra will overwrite We Love VFR, okay? Now, I physically put We Love VFR up on the top by copy and pasting in this file, but that didn't solve the problem, okay? The problem is the USA uh, points of interest, which is right here, this line right here. But even that is above my Canberra, my Madrid, and my Goldstone. So technically, it shouldn't have been a problem. Now, here's, the, here's what the problem is. This content.xml that I cleaned up later on is original to my installation of Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is over two years old. Every package that I have ever put in my community folder is in this file, even though those packages are no longer on my system. I've deleted them, uh, or many of them are actually just um, packages that were test packages of my scenery that I have on flightsim.to, okay? S like this uh, Akron, Canton, Fulton International Airport. Um, I have, f I mean, even my very first scenery package is in here, okay? I mean, the very first version of my package is in here. Okay, I have never, ever cleaned out this file in the, in the past two years, okay? And so what I'm thinking was it was getting confused by the contents in this, fi in this file. So what I did was I simply made a copy of it. That's what you just saw. And then I went in selected content.xml and deleted it, just completely deleted it. Then I went into my community folder to make sure I only had packages that I wanted to use, okay, which I did, okay. And then I restarted the sim. And when I restarted the sim, it automatically recreates the content.xml, but only puts the packages that are in the official Microsoft Flight Simulator folder, okay? The FS Base stuff, the Asobo stuff, the Microsoft stuff, okay? Down to this line right here, okay? Everything above this line is out of the official folder for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Everything below this is only stuff that is in my community folder. Nice and clean. Okay. Scenery. Okay. Um, your, your airplanes like the PMDG that notice it's not in this list, but it's in my community folder. Okay. The, it only puts scenery in this folder. Okay. And remember the priority is whatever is on the bottom has higher priori priority than anything above it, okay? So here is We Love VFR up here, and here is my uh, Goldstone right here, 
okay? And U.S. points of interest is up here, all right? So U.S. points of interest gets written first in the scenery. Then Puffin comes along with We Love VFR and replaces anything that it's overriding in this. And then My Goldstone overwrites anything that We Love VFR is doing that are in the exact same geographic location. All right. My old content dot XML had no clue what was going on because it was just a jumbled mess. All right. But when I deleted the content dot XML, and restarted Microsoft Flight Simulator, I no longer was getting the double radio telescopes. And all of We Love VFR stuff is there, looks just great, and I recommend that package, by the way. So the conflict wasn't between me and We Love VFR. The conflict was between me and the US points of interest, okay? So if you have downloaded my scenery packs for the telescopes, uh, whether you're Canberra, now Canberra, there was a conflict because there has been a world update for Australia and an Australia points of interest, okay? I would recommend, and not just because of my scenery, but just because you should clean out this content.xml periodically anyway, okay? So just select the content.xml and simply delete it out of your Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. Double check your community folder, make sure that that's all, only that stuff that you want is in there and start the sim and it will create a nice brand new reorganized pretty content.xml file okay and that conflict will go away uh, for the scenery that I created at least okay so if you guys didn't know about this content.xml I hope this video helps you understand okay if you still don't understand leave comments okay let's talk about it um so i hope you found this this video useful i did i've learned something even more and i've been creating seniors for the past two years okay so every once in a while clean out that content.xml okay especially if you Put things in your community folder and take them out and do some and put new folder. You know, I I try to keep my community folder as clean as possible. I only put the stuff in there that I'm going to use each particular session that I'm going to run. OK, I'm kind of anal when it comes to that. OK, but this file gets amended to every time you start. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. It doesn't create a brand new file if it already exists. If it already exists, it appends to it. Okay? If it doesn't exist, it creates a brand new one. All right? So, content.xml. If you're having problems with scenery uh, in conflicting with each other, go ahead and try to delete this file and start the sim and have it automatically create a brand new one, okay? I hope this video helps. Please subscribe if you haven't, and if you don't, that's okay. Uh, hit the notification bell, and if you feel inclined to support me, buymeacoffee.com slash myphysicalworld. You guys have a great day, and I will see you guys on the next video. See ya.